Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to a higher. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Today, we're still in the book of James, chapter 4, Friendship with the World. Before we begin our reading and our prayer for children of all ages, I want to know you guys saved. Have you been baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins? Are you living a daily life of repentance because we live in these fleshly bodies? The flesh is always warring with the spirit, but the spirit is willing. The flesh is, the flesh is weak. You must repent daily and live a, a sinless life. In other words, we don't sin. Definitely not on purpose. But because we live in these fleshy bodies until we get our incorruptible bodies, sometimes we're in sin and ignorance. So please repent daily. Read God's word, preferably the King James Version of the Bible. Go down on your knees in prayer and cry out to the Father in sincerity and truth. Because that's what the Father is seeking, a personal relationship with each and every one of his children. And if you belong to him, you will know him, you'll hear his voice, you obey him. Hallelujah. And we live a life of holiness. Glory be to a higher. I always tell you the truth because I love you and Father God loves you more. We're now going to say a prayer for children of all ages and we're going to get right into our reading. But make sure you give your life to Christ if you haven't already. Choose ye this day when you're going to serve. Either you're serving the Lord or you're serving the devil. I'm just telling you outright the truth. I have no reason to lie to so you. I have to answer for what I tell you. Right? All right. Let us say a prayer for children of all ages. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, Father, for your daily, for this day. Thank you for every day. Thank you, Father, for the daily provisions, your love, your protection. We love you, my Father. Thank you, Father, for giving us parents that train us up by your word, the Bible. Thank you, Father, for giving us, and we love them, Lord. Thank you, Father, for giving us siblings that we love, and we love them. And thank you, Father, for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. We love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Let's go into our reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. James chapter 4, Friendship with the World. Why do you fight and argue with each other? Isn't it because you are full of selfish desires that fight to control your body? You want something you don't have, and you will do anything to get it. You will even kill, but you still cannot get what you want, and you won't get it by fighting and arguing. You should pray for it. Yet even when you do pray, your prayers are not answered, because you pray just for selfish reasons. You people aren't faithful to God. Don't you know that if you love the world, you are God's enemies? And if you decide to be a friend of the world, you can make yourself an enemy of God. Do you doubt the scriptures that say God truly cares about the script? Excuse me. God truly cares about the spirit he has put in us. In fact, God treats us with even greater kindness, just as the scriptures say. God opposes everyone who is proud, but he is kind to everyone who is humble. Surrender to God. Resist the devil and he will run from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Clean up your lives, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you people who can't make up your mind. Be sad and sorry and weep. Stop laughing and start crying. Be gloomy instead of glad. Be humble in the Lord's presence and he will honor you. Saying cruel things about others. My friends, don't say cruel things about others. If you do or if you condemn others, you are condemning God's law. And if you condemn the law, you put yourself above the law and refuse to obey either it or God who gave it. God is our judge, and he can save or destroy us. What right do you have to condemn anyone? Warning against bragging. You should know better than to say, today or tomorrow we will go to the city. We will do business there for a year and make a lot of money. What do you know about tomorrow? How can you be so sure about your life? It is nothing more than mist that appears for only a little while before it disappears. You should say, if the Lord lets us live, we will do these things. Yet you are stupid enough to brag, and it is wrong to be so proud. 
If you don't do what you right, what you know is right, you have sinned. God, yes. God's willing tomorrow. We come back. Still in the book of James, chapter five. Warning to the rich. You all tell your loved ones our Father God. Tell them about Father God who gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one of some, he died for us all. If you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? You cannot be saved in any other way. By no other can you be saved. There's no other name known in heaven amongst men whereby we must be saved. No other name. It's only Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And he's the only way to salvation. As the Lord said, no one comes to the Father but by me. And that is the honest truth. Hallelujah. And yes, I believe that and receive that in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. That's not something up for debate or discussion. It's something we almost do, so please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, please let it go. If you want your Father who in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions, you better forgive your fellow man or Father God will not forgive you. And if you're a husband, your prayers can be hindered. Make sure that you're living holy. If you're a husband, make sure that you honor your wife as the weaker vessel and love her as you love yourself. As God loves the bride, as God loves the church. And all get in line. Because we all have our own quote-unquote position. You know? Our own quote-unquote lane. And, and when you do things out of order, that's when you have problems. So let us do our part and do what is right. We're trying to win souls of Christ Jesus. We wish, as the Father wished, for none to perish. I love you all with the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike. God bless you. Bye-bye.